Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a Dell laptop. As you can see that the screen is pixelated. You can call it like a disordered color, funny lines running across the screen because there was an impact point right here and it kind of make the screen go colorful. All right, so the first thing I like to do is to turn off the uh, computer. I can press and hold a power button until the computer shuts off or you should go ahead and disconnect the battery. Mm, what happened to the power button? It's not shutting off. That's okay. I'll go ahead and disconnect the battery. So let's identify the model here. This is a Dell Latitude 5400 and the model yeah, it's 5400, all P98G. So there's another uh, model right there, and it says a P98G. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. It looks like the screws on the top left corner, it doesn't come off. Same for the top right corner. Same for the one in the middle. So you can only unscrew and the screw do not come off. So let's go ahead and do on every single corner. There are two screws at the bottom and three screws right in the middle. Once you unscrew it, go ahead and remove the back cover. Once the back cover is removed, this is the battery connector. Get right underneath that. So lift it up and remove the battery. I'm sure there are screws around it, but for some reason, um, this one, only one screw. I think that screw in the middle is the one that's holding the battery. So what I like to do next is to go get a prying tool and pry open the entire bezel. So the bezel is holding down with the double-sided adhesive tape. You see that little white tape? Those are adhesive thing that is holding down the bezel. Once the bezel is removed, it looks like the screen is glue onto it, but I just couldn't find the tape that uh, is holding it down.
So I do see there's a little tape right there. I got to use the tweezer to go underneath that and start pulling it. It looks like the screen may have been replaced by someone else before in the past. I cannot really 100% sure on that part, but um, let's try to get this yellow tape. This is my first time seeing a yellow tape. Most of it is going to be white or black, um, but the yellow tape might indicate that the screen was replaced in the past by someone else before. It might not have been the original screen, but who knows. Just gonna get this thing. Okay, once the thing is done, uh, it does tell me that the screen was replaced by someone else before just because that the tape here is somewhat was peeled. It's kind of peeled off by someone before, that's what indicates to me. Disconnect the little clip right here and then slide a tape cable away from you and that would be the screen. So if you're not sure where to buy the screen, look it up for the model here which is the LP140WFBSPH2. That is the model of the screen. What I'll do is I'll link it down in the description below where you can go to um, Amazon or eBay to find a replacement screen as well as the double-sided tape. So you do need to have a tape to retape the screen back together and I'll be using this red adhesive tape. This is a 2mm, 2mm, might be too thin. Either you can do it Two times you can run two times of this or you can get a, a thicker one which is I believe this is a 5 mm now assuming that this new screen comes in let's just say this is the new screen replacement comes in uh, all you have to do is just a reverse process by hooking up the uh, the cable like so Close the little clipper and then pull the tape to kind of secure and fasten the connector. At this point here you want to open up that adhesive tape, tip it down on the metal bracket. I'll leave some room here, extra room, so that if the next person would need to replace the screen again, uh, they get to see where that little adhesive tape is so that they can pull from the additional uh, tape right there. So do that on both sides. And once you're done with that, the next step is to retake the screen back together. So it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just peel off the double sided adhesive tape and then realign the, the screen back to the very top and tip it, it down together just like, th just like that. Once the screen is taped on, you can um, install the bezel. Again, the bezel is a clip on. 
and of course there are going to be some left adhesive tape that should be enough to hold down to the um, um, to the uh, the bezel clip it back in and that should be it hopefully this video is helpful thanks for watching until next time bye now